guys, Matt the Sayonati here. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Uh, today is Friday, March the 17th. And you know what that means, guys? Today's St. Patrick's Day. Hey! Yeah, guys. So, happy St. Patrick's Day. I uh, hope you guys are having a great St. Patrick's Day. Uh, let me know in the comments below and let me know how your day is going so far. And tell me how your St. Patrick's Day is going. Uh, so far, I'm having a good day. Yeah, it's a good day. It's Friday, so it's almost the weekend. So, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And since it's St. Patrick's Day weekend... I uh, hope you guys uh, go out fun. If you guys go out tonight or anything to like drink or party or whatever, just be safe and be responsible and just have fun, you know? Uh, I'm actually going to be going out later tonight to the Elephant's Nest in the River Rock to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so yeah, uh, right now you can probably tell I'm in my room right now. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I just had brunch. Uh, I had eggs and potatoes and I'm actually still drinking coffee just down there. I'm actually about to leave soon to go walk around for a little bit as I have my sweaters and my hat on my bed there just to get ready. Uh, so yeah, um, right now it's like almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so yeah, I'm about to go out. And yeah, you guys can also tell that I'm wearing a green shirt today, so yeah, no one can pitch me. <laughs> but yeah, apparently the saying is for St. Patrick's Day, if you're not wearing any green clothing or anything green really, then you can like pinch someone on like the shoulder. But Y'all know I'm wearing green today because it's St. Patrick's Day, so yeah. Also, guys, I just I want to show you something. So, um, I have an Irish flag that I had in my in this box down here, and guess what? I put it up on my window. I'll see if you guys can see it. But yeah, look at that. Hey, yeah, I got an Irish flag on my window, and also I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I'm actually part Irish. So yeah, it's a good way to celebrate my heritage. Wearing a green shirt and have an Irish flag and and it's St. Patrick's Day, so yeah. Um, so I'm probably just gonna walk. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go out soon, you guys. Uh, I might take the bus downtown. I might. Um, but yeah, apparently it's not gonna be too bad outside today. As I think it's, but I think it's gonna be cloudy all day today. Yeah, I think it's gonna be cloudy, and I think it's like six degrees today, so it might be a little chilly. So I might want to wear my rain jacket still, but yeah. It was, it, and uh, it actually, it's actually a little bit windy today as well, so it might be a little windy too. Kind of wish today was like how it was yesterday, because yesterday was like really nice. Like yesterday was like sunny, and it was like 11 degrees. Well, no, yesterday was cloudy, but it was 11 degrees. I, I kind of wish that today it was like, like yesterday, where it was like cloudy, or not, well, I, I wish it was, wasn't cloudy. Like I wish today was at least 11 degrees and sunny, you know? That would have been a little better, but you know. Um, but yeah, so I just want to talk to you guys for a little bit. Uh, I will vlog a little bit while I'm out walking. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys for a little bit. And yeah. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed the video or the vlog I uploaded yesterday when I was hanging out with Dustin. Uh, if you guys want to check out yesterday's vlog, I'll put a link to the description down below. If you guys also want to check out Wednesday's vlog uh, when I was walking around, I'll put that video link in the description below as well. Um, so yeah. Also, guys, uh, if you guys seen yesterday's vlog, you guys will know that I told you that I was going to ask Dustin if he wanted to do a Try Not To Laugh Challenge video with me next time I do the next Try Not To Laugh Challenge, which would be part 9. I didn't ask him yesterday, so and I haven't asked him yet, so maybe I'll text him and ask him if he wants to, or I can ask him next time we hang out. So, yeah, I thought I should let you guys know that, because I totally forgot. I was like, oh yeah, I was going to ask him. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry if the lighting's like kind of bright, it's just my room's light, light's on and the you know, sun's out. Maybe if I turn off my light, maybe it might be a little better. Yeah, that's better. I'm just turn my lights off for a little bit. Um, so yeah guys, uh, like I said, I hope you ever, I hope you guys are having a great St. Patrick's Day. And let me know in the comments below, and let me know if you guys are part Irish, or if you guys do anything on St. Patrick's Day. Because um, the last couple St. Patrick's Days, I haven't really gone out to like a bar or to like drink or have fun on St. Patrick's Day. And I think this year is going to be the first year I ever will. So yeah, because you guys all know, last year on St. Patrick's Day in 2022, I went for a bike ride. And I did that one vlog on the Mud Creek Pathway. And last year St. Patrick's Day was like really warm. Like it kind of felt like summer. And St. Patrick's Day in 2021, I was hanging out with Dustin. And I don't remember what I did on St. Patrick's Day in 2020. I don't remember. So for this year's St. Patrick's Day in 2023, I'm going to be going to the Elephant's Nest in the River Rock and have some beers. I might only, I might only have like maybe one or two beers, but that's probably about it. Um, but yeah. 
We'll see. We'll see how, we'll see what I want. Or we'll see what happens, so yeah. But yeah, guys, I figured that since it's St. Patrick's Day and I had an Irish flag, I figured I'd put it up in my window here. Uh, actually, on St. Patrick's Day in 2021, I actually ha you had that Irish flag and I actually had it on this part of the wall here, which of course now is my calendar and this stuff and my Canada flag right here. Um, but I figured for St. Patrick's Day this year, I put an, uh, my, the Irish flag on my window. And I was actually thinking that maybe for Canada Day, I can put one of my Canadian flags on the window where this Irish flag is. Because I have a Canadian flag here. I know I have this one, but I have another one here. I can, like a bigger one I can use on Canada Day to put on my window. I'll get out here for you guys. One second. So yeah, guys, I have this other Canadian flag. It's, as you see, it's a little bigger than this one. So on Canada Day, I figured on Canada Day, I'll put this flag where this flag is and then have it on the window for Canada Day. And on Canada Day, I'll probably wear my O Canada t-shirt. Or maybe I can go to a store and see if there's a red uh, Canada t-shirt. Like maybe it's like a red shirt and like a white maple leaf in the middle that says Canada or something. I can go to a store and see if they have any Canada shirts I can wear on Canada Day. But of course, Canada Day is not till July 1st, so it's still, like, well over a few months away still. But yeah, that's pretty cool that on St. Patrick's Day, I have an Irish flag up, and then on Canada Day, I'll have this Canadian flag up. So yeah. So when I do the Canada Day vlog in July, you guys, uh, you guys are going to see a Canada flag on my window here. But for today, St. Patrick's Day, you guys will see an Irish flag on my window, so yeah. Um, okay guys, well, I'm gonna pause the video for now, and, uh, next time I'll talk to you guys is when I'll be out, so, I'll catch you guys when we're out. Okay guys, so now I'm out walking right now, and as you can see, I'm at UCC right now. And guys, it actually is pretty windy outside, like, while I was walking here, like, it was, like, really windy, and I was like, damn. And it is actually kind of cold outside, like, I think it's, like, 6 degrees outside today, but with the wind, I think it feels a little colder, like, maybe 2 or 3. But apparently I heard that later tonight, it's actually, the wind's supposed to slow down, so at least that's good. So at least when I go out later, it's not going to be as windy, but, you know, excuse me. Um, but yeah, so I'm just walking around right now. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're doing, what I'm doing right now, or what my plans are so far, besides going out later. Um, so I'm just walking around. I was actually listening to some music, I was listening to some of the Black Keys, A. Hey. Uh, but yeah, so I'm at the Pines, and this would actually be where the guidance office would be. Um, but yeah. Oh, but guys, I do really miss this school. Like, you have no idea how much I miss this school. Oh, yeah. There are some cars parked here, but they're probably people who work at the hospital, because the, so the school lets people at the hospital, like, park here, like, people who work there, so, yeah. Now, since it is kind of cold outside, guys, I do have gloves, so in case my hands get pretty cold, I can just put on my gloves and wear them so my hands don't get freezing. Uh, so yeah, maybe I might go to Tim Hortons for a little bit just to uh, hang out there and warm up because, you know, it might be a little, if I get bored, so I'll just go to Timmy's if I do get bored. Uh, so yeah, but I kind of wish it wasn't windy today or cold because, yeah, it would be a little better if it was a little warmer today, like how it was yesterday. Because, you know, yesterday it was actually like pretty nice. Like, it was like 11 degrees yesterday. So it would be nice if today it was like as nice as it was yesterday, but I guess today is a little colder, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm just walking around right now. I know I said that already, but yeah. I guess I'll slowly start walking. But yeah, I hope you guys, I know I said this already a few times, but I do hope you guys are having a good St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you guys are having a good Friday as well. And I'm just really glad that St. Patrick's Day this year is actually on a Friday. Because that's actually pretty sick. Well, probably next well next year in 2024, St. Patrick's Day will be on a Sunday. Because next year, 2024, will be on a Sunday. And then 2025, it'll be on a Monday. And then 2026, it'll be on a Tuesday. And then 2027, will be on Wednesday. So, yeah. And then the next time, Friday, Friday 13th. I almost said Friday 13th. Uh, the next time St. Patrick's Day will be on a Friday will be in 2028, because 2028 will be a leap year, so yeah, 2020, so yeah, 2028 will be the next time St. Patrick's Day will be on a Friday, so yeah. There's the front of the UCC, hey.
Yeah, you guys can probably notice that they actually have flag poles here now for, they got an Ontario flag and a Canadian flag there. Because when I went to UCC, those flags weren't, weren't there. So I think they may, may have just recently added them. So that's pretty cool. And you got the hospital right across the street here. Pretty cool right there, guys. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just hanging out here for now. Uh, so, I might pause the video again, guys. And uh, I might talk to you guys again, maybe when we're at Timmy's or downtown somewhere. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so now I'm actually in the tunnel under the Croix Street right now. Yeah, this tunnel is literally under the Croix Street. Uh, we are by the hospital. I can show you guys that we're actually close to the hospital. It's like literally just over there. Um, so we're gonna walk around a little bit more and then I'm probably gonna head back downtown. Probably gonna go to Timmy's and hang out there for a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna go over the bridge here. It's probably gonna be really windy, so I gotta try and hold my phone as strong as I can and hopefully I don't drop it, right? And then we're probably gonna go down King Street, back downtown, and yeah. Then I might go to Timmy's for a little bit. I mean, so far it's not really windy now. I mean, it might pick up, it might pick back up once we're over the bridge there. So actually, I might hold my phone with the other hand. Yep, see, told you guys. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really happy about it being windy today. Because I, I was actually hoping that the weather today was gonna be like yesterday, where it was gonna be like, actually not bad, and it was like 11 degrees. But today is like windy, a little cold. It's probably like five degrees now. Woo! Yeah. Just gotta go over the bridge and then we'll go down King Street West towards downtown. Uh, so yeah, it's a little busy down the Croix Street right now. You probably couldn't see, you probably couldn't tell, but like way down the street, like past the bridge. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna vlog downtown for a little bit, and maybe I might vlog for a little bit in Timmy's. I might, and then after that, I'll probably end the vlog. So yeah, I know this vlog's probably not gonna be much. It's just gonna be like me talking to you, talking to you guys for a little bit. But yeah, and I think maybe the next video after this, guys, it might be the first day of spring vlog, or if I hang out with Dustin tomorrow and if we go to my house, I might do a try out to laugh challenge video tomorrow. Maybe, it's a maybe, guys. If I don't post the Tries to Laugh Challenge video tomorrow, then the next video will be the, try uh, the first day of spring vlog. So, yeah. We're just coming up on King Street now, guys. Hey. But yeah, now I'm wearing my gloves, because my hands will get cold, and you know, it is a little chilly today. So, yeah. And I'm actually only wearing one sweater and my spring jacket underneath this. That's what I'm wearing today. And I'm only wearing one pair of pants today too. So yeah. Just gonna turn down King Street here. Woo! Maybe I'll try and switch hands. Okay, there we go. So now I can film with this handy, guys. Uh, but yeah, guys. I can't believe now there's only a few more days left of winter. Wow. I'm actually glad that now there's only a few days left spring that's the least spring starts on Monday that's pretty good I know the cold weather might drag on till like a little bit of April but it's okay but hopefully at least after Easter or even on Easter weekend hopefully it'll be like nice spring weather at least like nice sweater weather that's what I'm hoping for at least right like nice maybe 15 16 degree weather that would be nice but we'll see We'll just have to see what happens by Easter. <laughs> yeah. Also, guys, I'm not sure if I told you guys this in one of my previous vlogs, but the other day, I was walking by to where the new Firehouse Subs in Chatham is going to be, and apparently I saw that one of the new Barbarios in Chatham, which we're actually getting two, one on Grand and one in St. Clair, but apparently I saw where the Barbarito on Grand Ave is going to be in the same plaza as Firehouse Subs and Starbucks. I saw that they actually got both of their signs up now, for the back and the front. Hey, so that so yeah, I think now they're gonna start working on the bar burrito, as they're literally almost done firehouse subs, as it's literally opening on Thursday next week, the 23rd. 
So yeah, Firehouse Subs is almost open, or almost ready to open. Uh, but yeah. And I was still wondering like what was gonna go in between Bar Burrito and Firehouse Subs. And someone said that it might be a pita pit, like they might be bringing a pita pit back to chat. And it was gonna go on Grand Ave. That'd be cool if it was a pita pit. But I'm not sure exactly, like I'm not like, sure, I'm not like for sure yet what's gonna be. Like I don't know if it's gonna be a pita pit or a booster juice. But now that I think about it, I actually think it should be a pita pit because we did have a pita pit on St. Clair Street. Uh, if you guys are from Chatham, you guys know where Marble Slab Creamery is on St. Clair. That's actually where Pita Pit in Chatham used to be. So, I'm actually really hoping that we're actually bringing uh, Pita Pit back to Chatham, and this time it's going to be on Grand Ave, beside Barbarito and Firehouse Subs. Because, yeah, actually it would be pretty cool having Starbucks, Barbarito, Pita Pit, then Firehouse Subs. Yeah, actually it kind of makes sense. So hopefully it's a Pita Pit, right? And if you guys go to my Instagram, you guys will see that I posted about the new plaza and how it's going so far. Uh, yeah. And this is where the the new college residence here on King is going to be. Which this actually used to be the old YMCA in Chatham. I remember going to this place when it was the YMCA, like back in like 2007, 2006. Somewhere around there. Or 2008, but yeah. But yeah, I remember that it used to be a YMCA and now they're turning it into like a college residence building. But it, they actually been working on this building for a long time and they still are not finished it yet. I think they actually started working on this place since like 2017. So they've been working on this place for like maybe six years now. Hopefully they get it done soon and hopefully some college people will actually start moving into this place because that'd be pretty cool. And it's downtown so it's like kind of perfect. <laughs> Yeah. There's the police station right there. And then over here you got the fire station and the civic center and city hall. And then, you know, over there is the hospital. But yeah. This is 2nd Street, which actually connects to Wellington Street after the lights. So that's pretty cool. So, you guys, we're practically downtown now. Where's passing by the Civic Center. I might pause the all I might pause the video again when we're at the Capitol Theater. And I actually want to show you guys something at the Capitol Theater and I hope the camera will uh, pick it up. Because it's actually pretty cool guys. Yeah. And this is actually a electric vehicle charging station. They installed this I think a few months ago or sometime last year. But yeah it's a new electric vehicle charging station. That's pretty cool. There's the front of the Civic Center. Which I don't know if you guys know anything about the Civic Center, but apparently there used to be a Service Ontario in the Civic Center. But I think now it's on Grand Ave where it is now. Over by, uh, like, past the fortress. So, yeah. There's downtown, guys, just over there. Just past the lights. I know we're, I know we're technically downtown, but that's over there is like the main part of downtown. Like past 3rd Street, so yeah. Actually, maybe I'll cross the street. Oh, I can't because the car's coming. So I might have to wait. A couple of pickup trucks are going by. <sighs> Come on, guys, let's go. Jesus. The cars were, some trucks were going kind of slow. We're gonna cross 3rd Street and then uh, show you guys a little bit at the Capitol Theater. Actually, no, I'll show you guys a little bit at the garden. Because they actually put something cool with the garden. So I'll show you guys uh, what they did at the Capitol Theater first. And then I'll show you guys what they did at the garden. And then I'll pause the video again. I'm just gonna the lights here. 3rd Street. But yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm actually, I actually have a feeling that uh, downtown's probably gonna be like really busy later. Because, you know, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Downtown might be pretty busy later, guys. <laughs> no, don't worry, guys. Since I am going to be going to the nest in the River Rock later, I will be safe. I'll try and be safe. I'll be careful because I know it's probably gonna be like a lot of people drinking and maybe some stupid people down there like being stupid. So I'll try and be safe, guys, and all that because I already know that downtown's probably gonna be like really busy, like almost jam packed tonight. 
and probably tomorrow too because tomorrow's Saturday. So don't worry, I'll be safe. Uh, so yeah, we're getting close to the Capitol Theater now. It's right there. It actually, it's kind of busy downtown right now. Actually, like you can probably see some cars parked down here. Yeah, pretty cool right there. So what I wanted to show you guys at the Capitol Theater is, if you guys remember back in the summertime and I think in the fall, uh, they they actually had a screen on at the front of the Capitol Theater. Then like for a while, like the screen apparently wasn't on or whatever. Well, apparently they fixed it, and it's working again. See? Hey, the screen's back. The screen's back on. It's fixed. See now the screen's back. Oh, let's go. That's actually pretty sick. I, I actually noticed that the other day, and I was like, hey, the screen's back. And now the, that's back to how it was before. So, yeah. And they still haven't updated the posters for the new events. And I wonder if, like, in the summertime, if they're going to post the 2023 and 2024 season at the Capitol Theater. Probably will, because last summer they posted the 2022-2023 season for the events here. So I think maybe in the summertime, or sometime this summer, they'll post the events for the rest of 2023 and a little bit of 2024. So, yeah. I wanted to show you guys, I just wanted to show you guys that, because I noticed that and I was like, ooh, I can show that in my, one of my next vlogs. Hey. So now I'm going to show you guys what I want to show you at the garden. And it's literally just right over there. They actually have an Irish flag on the on like the wood where the outdoor patio would usually be or whatever. And they actually have like little like uh, four like clovers loons on the on the front on the front of the building. I'll try and talk over the music because there is music playing and I don't know if it's copyrighted, but I'll show you guys. So yeah, as you can see, they got an Irish flag here with a clover on it. That's pretty cool, and they got the clover balloons on the front, the window and the door and all that. Hey. So yeah, guys, it's pretty cool. I'll put my hand over. I'm gonna cross the street here. Uh, if, 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 if they'll let me cross. Oh, thank you. I guess they'll let me cross. Hey. Yeah, there's River Rock. That's where I'm going tonight. Oh yeah. Okay guys, well, I'm gonna pause the video again and I might talk to you guys when we're at Tim Hortons. So, if I do, um, then I'll talk to you guys when we're at Timmy's. Okay guys, so now I'm at Tim Hortons and I got myself a coffee. It's a decaf, a double. Uh, so yeah, I'm just at Tim's right now and it's not really busy in here. It's like a few people in here. Uh, so I'm just here, just chilling, charge my phone. So my charger's like really right here. Uh, so yeah. I'm probably gonna go home soon, have dinner and all that stuff. And plus, well, maybe while I'm home, I might uh, upload the vlog. So this vlog might be up uh, later before midnight. So yeah, you can kind of see a little bit of the sunset, even though it's not really sunset yet, because you know now it doesn't get dark out till like near eight. So and it's like five, like almost five thirty now. So still got like a couple of more hours or a few more hours of the sun left before it's dark out. Uh, so yeah. And after I leave my house, I'm going to be going to the Nest and River Rock uh, for St. Patrick's Day. And yes, guys, I, like, I, I am still wearing the shirt, which, of course, I did bring another shirt, but, yeah. So you can't pinch me, guys, because I'm wearing green. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to get my sweater. I'm gonna zip up this sweater here. <laughs> yeah. And you guys can also tell that I'm actually wearing my Blue Jays sweater. I am wearing my Raptors pants. And I'm wearing my Blue Jays hat, which... You guys can probably see that. So yeah. Um, it, it'd be kind of funny if I wore my Maple Leafs hat, like my toque. That way I would have been able to wear Raptors pants, a Blue Jay sweater, and a Maple Leafs hoodie, or a toque. Not hoodie, really, toque. Um, but yeah, but no, I'm wearing my uh, Blue Jays hat today. Uh, I still actually have the, the other one that my friends gave me a while back, but I just don't really wear that one, because, I don't know. Um, yeah. There's an ambulance over there by the police station. I just seen an ambulance there. Uh, so yeah, guys, hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. And I know this vlog's not really gonna be much, but uh, yeah. And I was kind of thinking of maybe continuing the vlog at the nest, like showing you guys what's going on. But I don't know if I want to vlog all, like, cause I don't know if I know if I want to do all that vlogging, cause it's, it's gonna be a really long vlog if I do. I mean, not that I've done an hour of vlogs before, cause I have, but. I just don't want my vlogs to be incredibly long, you know? 
So, yeah, I'm just gonna be at Tim's for a little bit. Maybe I might take the bus back home and have dinner and upload the vlog and edit the thumbnail and I'll walk to uh, the nest and all that. So, yeah. But, uh, I'm actually can't I actually can't believe that there's only like, what, like maybe a couple weeks left of March? Wow. Like, guys, I'll be honest, March is going by so quick. It's crazy. Like, we're already kind of close to April now. April, like, damn. It honestly does feel like, though, 2023 is going by pretty quick. Like, it kind of does. Because we got January done, February done, and now we're already halfway done March, and soon it's going to be April, the fourth the fourth month of the year. Like, wow. And very soon, it's going to start warming up to spring weather. Well, and very soon, I'll be able to just go out in a sweater like this outside. But, of course, today is, like, windy and cold, so I have to wear my jacket, which my coat's right here. Um, so, yeah. My original plan was to hang out with Dustin today, but I don't know if I really want to. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, maybe me and Dustin might hang out. Uh, actually, I don't know if we're going to hang out tomorrow. Uh, maybe me and Dustin might hang out Sunday or Monday. So, yeah, maybe I'll vlog. Maybe if I... Actually, maybe I'll hang out with... That's not on Monday anyways, because, you know, it's first day of spring, and I was going to vlog on Monday anyways, so I think the next vlog after this one, guys, will be the first day of spring vlog, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, it's a little quiet here and a little boring, but it's okay. Also, guys, I don't know if you guys seen this, but this says uh, 1964 on the wall here. That's only because Tim Hortons was actually founded in 1964. And that means next year, in 2024, will be Tim Horton's 60th anniversary. Oh, wow. Yeah, actually, I wonder if Tim Horton's is going to do something big next year for 60 years. Because next year will be their 60 years of being in business. Because, like I said, Tim Horton's was founded in 1964. And with next year being 2024, that means next year, Tim Horton's will be 60. Wow. That's pretty cool. I actually can't believe Tim Hortons has been around for 60 years already, almost. 60 years. Damn. That's pretty cool. That's pretty crazy, guys. Now, actually, there is another coffee shop. It's not as popular as Timmy's. It's, like, kind of, you know, not as popular. But it's still, like, some of you might know, recognize it. Um, it's another coffee shop or coffee franchise called Country Style. And that, that franchise, Country Style, was actually founded in 1963. Yeah, Country Style was founded in 1963, so Country Style is 60 this year. And then next year, 2024, Tim Hortons will be 60 because Tim Hortons was founded in 1964. Hey, that's pretty cool. So I actually want to know what day Tim Hortons was first founded, so maybe on that day next year I can go to Timmy's and celebrate its 60th anniversary. What do you guys think? Should I do it? I'll do it. So yeah, next year we got Tim Horns, the 60th anniversary, my 10 years on YouTube, and um, what else? I don't know, something around there. Um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna pause the video again, uh, and then I'll talk to you guys. Um, maybe when I'm on the bus back home, because I might take the bus home. So, but yeah, I'll um, I'll pause it for now, and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So catch you guys later. Okay guys, um, I'm home now. Uh, I actually took the number four bus home. And uh, actually at McDonald's for dinner, it was pretty good. I had a Big Mac with fries and a Coke. I had a regular Big Mac though. Uh, I didn't have the chicken Big Mac, which I will probably do a review on the chicken Big Mac, the chicken Big Mac soon. I apologize for that stutter. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, had McDonald's for dinner. So now I'm just in my room. Uh, it's almost eight o'clock. So I'm gonna be editing this, I mean, editing this vlog and editing the thumbnail. And I'm going to head out to go Elephant's Nest and Rib Rock. Celebrate St. Patty's Day. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah. I do still have my coffee with me. But it's like almost done. So. Just going to finish my coffee. And then I'll edit the vlog. Edit the thumbnail. And so yeah. But yeah like I said guys. Uh, the next time I vlog will probably be on Monday. For the first day of spring. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, yeah. Or at least during the day. But you know. Uh, yeah, and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do on Sunday either, so, I mean, maybe if I hang out with Dustin on Sunday, then I'll probably hang out with him on Sunday, and maybe I'll vlog on Sunday, and then I'll do another vlog on Monday, who knows, and then I'll do another vlog on Tuesday for my nine years on YouTube, 
Because this Tuesday, March 21st, will be nine years on YouTube. Me. Nine years. Or my nine years. <laughs> I'm sorry. As next year will be my ten years, so next year's is gonna be bigger. So don't worry guys. I have something I have I have something in, in mind I wanna do for my ten years on YouTube next year, so stay tuned for that. But you know, it's not for another like, year or so. So we got a while, like twelve months. Um <clears throat> so yeah guys. Um anything else I can talk to you guys about? Not really much. Uh but um Okay guys, you know what, I'm probably just going to end the vlog here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the bell on. And if you guys want to check out yesterday's vlog, I'll put a link to it in the description down below. And if you guys also want to go check out Wednesday's vlog, I'll put a link to that video in the description down below as well. And if you guys haven't seen the Try Not To Laugh Challenge video, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description below of course, as well, so you guys want to go check that out. Of course, be sure to follow me on Instagram and my TikTok, uh, the links will be in the description down below. Go follow my bands, Greed and the War Dogs Instagrams, and Greed's TikTok. Uh, the links in the description down below. Uh, go check out my Rail Fan channel as well as my walking channel. Uh, the links in the description down below. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.